everyone. Um, I hope you were blessed by what Dodger shared with you Sunday. Uh, I, I find it interesting that people will try to hide or, uh, or run from God as if God isn't where you're going or where, where you're trying to run to. Uh, we can try and run from God, but he's there. You know, he's everywhere. Uh, Jonah did. I mean, he attempted to run from God, but he still ran into God. Uh, and let's just say he, he still ended up going where God wanted him to go that he was trying to run from God to do. We all do that sometimes, don't we? I think it's interesting, though, if you go over to Psalm 23, it's probably one of everyone's favorite psalm, and we read it in so many different occasions. But in, uh, in the last verse of that psalm, it says, Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life. The idea there is that we need to get there is that no matter what we do, God's goodness and love will be in constant pursuit of our heart. God never stops wanting to have a relationship with us. What we need to do is just stop and turn around and surrender. Uh, no matter how far we have, to, no matter how far we run away from God, and no matter what's going on in our lives, God is pursuing to have a relationship with us. So let me just encourage you to stop running. Stop. <laughs> stop running from God and start running to God. James chapter 4, verse 8 says this: if we come near to God, He will come near to us. It's a promise that God gives to us. But I also want you to see that James says more than just about this promise that he gives to us. I want you to, to listen to what he says here. I'm going to start reading from James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So he tells us that you know, if, if we resist the devil, that he will flee from us. And he says there, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. So if we resist the devil, the devil flees. If we, if we draw near to God, God comes near. And it says there, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be miserable and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to, into mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the presence of God, and he will exalt you. James promises that if we run to God, he will come to us. Well, the opposite's true, too. If we run away from God, we're running away from God. God keeps pursuing us. God keeps having a relationship with us. But you've got to stop. You've got to stop and do some of the things that James tells us to do. Is stop, repent, apologize, forgive, ask for forgiveness, and seek him, and he will come near to you. Stop running. Stop running. We tell that to our kids and our grandkids all the time. Stop running. You're going to hurt yourself. I'm telling you, stop running and turn around and come to God because he'll come close to you. We're here to help. If there's something going on in your life that you really need help with, if you're struggling with a sin or if you're struggling just in life and you need someone that needs some help, you need somebody to listen to uh, or to listen to you and, and you need some help in just trying to navigate this thing through life of changing those things and running away from some things and running back to God. Give us a call. Text us. Let us know. Leave us a message here on Facebook. We just, we want to help you. We want to help you come to God and have a closer relationship with, with Him. Hope you have a great week. And uh, can't wait to worship together Sunday, but can't wait to hear from you to help you in your journey with God. Thanks for listening.